My name is Tony Gonzalez, running for San Miguel Transportation, based out of Katahdi, California. Uh, the truck itself is a 2015 389. It's been in the family since the day we got it. My dad ran it for the first six years of its life with a bone stock 389. Not a chicken light in sight. Uh, finally, I kind of took it over the last three years, and in the last three years, it's gone from a bone stock 389 to as it sits now. You know, it's a, she's a working girl that can hang in there with the big boys at the shows. Mile Johnny is 908-420. Okay. Yeah, she's still, like I said, she's a working girl. Coming into it, when I knew I wanted to get into the driving, I told my dad, I was like, hey, I want to get into this, but I, I didn't want to work for him. I knew better than kind of trying to go in and work with family. So it was one of those things where it's like, sell me the truck for a fair price. I'm going to pay you a fair price. I'm going to ask for a handout. Uh, went into it. Once it was kind of mine, it kind of went in as like an like owner op, leased onto him. It treat me like any, any one of your drivers. You know, I don't want anything special. I'm going to ask for a handout. You know, cause I'm a proud guy. I know my dad's the same way. So yeah. he, he respected it just as much as I did when I asked him, when I approached him that way. Yeah. And it was just one of those things where he's been running me the same as any other guy. And we've done well. You know, I've, I've done extremely well. And he's been happy because he's, he's got the freight going out. Yeah. So we're happy on both ends. They've been running for uh, probably close to 20 years now. Uh, originally started based out of Salinas Holland Produce kind of ran that for a while, made the, made the money out of that, but with produce comes a headache and we kind of got over it. So eventually we, we got into the wine, hauling box okay. wine now, and uh, greatest thing we could have done. You know, it's less of a headache. The wait times are very minimal and, you know, you gotta think you're picking a product that got bottled three years ago. So you're really never waiting. So we've got a fleet of nine trucks, four local, five on the road, and we run just dedicated lanes from you know, Santa Rosa to Phoenix, Portland, and Auburn. All reefer, I mean, our, our, our local guys, since they stay up north, they're in, they're in dry vans, because they don't really do it. Uh, we do a lot of consolidation, so we consolidate all throughout the Bay Area, San Jose, Modesto, all the immediate area, come back to our warehouse, and it's mainly a consolidation warehouse. We do a lot of LTL okay. and load out of there. And so since I took it over the first year that I ran it, it was basically bunker down, head down, just get as much as I could. Like I said, I may not be running my own numbers, but I treated it as if I was. Yeah. Cause like, why wait until you got to run your own numbers to deal with the headaches, to get ahead of the ball. Yeah. So first year, kind of just ran it, stockpiled on parts. And after that, that's when everything kind of started off. Um, we got a local shop in Fontana called Viking CD. The guys have kind of been doing everything for me, helping me out with a lot of the lighting. Besides that, you know, the air ride, that's something that's just, it's factory air ride, but we just implemented Got rid of the factory leveling valves, put into rear dump valves, ran airlines to our front system to be able to dump it all together. Just because, you know, these factory air rides nowadays, they're, they're pricey. And, you know, I'm, I'm a one truck fleet, so anywhere I can do something myself, I do it. So if it means like scavenging forums for hours, look for your answers, we got nothing but time in the cab. So it gives you that, gives you the opportunity to go ahead and look for it. It has a show aesthetic. But over the road, I've still got stock ride height, yeah. stock comfortability. And for now, like everything with this truck has been stepping stones. Yeah. You know, where I can get it done and do it and build from there. You yeah. know, that's the thing about these trucks is you can have a truck that's bone stock and you're working on it and you have a truck that you think is done and you're still working on it. These yeah. things are never ending. Interior, yeah, we got uh, all glass watermelons inside. Uh, it's got an SH tube, 45 bend, all internal wired, wide ride Boston seats on uh, some solo brackets. We want to get into the interior this year. You know, we got we got big plans for the interior. I think we've kind of capped on the exterior for now. And this year alone, we've been kind of putting more into the, the interior.